Item number, SCP-618. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-618 has been purchased by Foundation Assets and sealed off from the public. The doors and windows of the property have been reinforced as a security measure against outside intrusion. Motion sensors have been installed both for this reason and to monitor the anomaly itself. Description SCP-618 is a one-bedroom apartment unit in Kamloops, British Columbia. The suite displays signs of chronic disuse. Extensive dust and webbing accumulations are visible on the furniture. Housing records indicate that the unit belonged to Anna Leclerc, a photographer previously employed by a Vancouver paparazzi agency. Prior to SCP-618's discovery, Leclerc had already been missing for several months, but had not been reported as such until the expiration of their lease. The contents of SCP-618, while in gross disarray, are generally unremarkable. However, Unusual alterations have been made to the kitchen oven. The porcelain paneling of the oven's interior, as well as its steel racks, have been disassembled and removed from their frame. The hinges of the oven door have been jammed, preventing it from closing. A streak of dried blood runs vertically inside the door, trailing towards a crawl space in the back of the oven. The crawl space serves as an entry point to SCP-618's spatial anomaly, a vast, unlit area that surrounds the apartment. From within this space, the walls of the apartment are completely transparent, allowing observers to view the interior. This effect only occurs on one side. The walls are opaque when viewed from certain angles, or when viewed from inside the apartment. Wall-mounted objects, furniture pieces, and other obstructive features also exhibit the same effect. A massive network of webbing hangs above SCP-618. These webs extend outward for an indeterminate distance, spanning kilometers without terminating. Suspended within the webbing are numerous photographs, each dated with a handwritten label. These photographs vary widely in content, but typically focus on SCP-618's previous occupant, Anna Leclerc, as the subject of depiction. A majority of the photographs are high-angle shots of Leclerc in their apartment, taken from vantage points outside SCP-618's walls. These images generally depict Leclerc and their day-to-day -day activities, seemingly unaware of the photographer's presence. Notably, certain shots offer a closer view of the subject, showing close-ups of their face or being taken directly behind them. A catalog of recovered photographs can be found in Addendum 1. The exact number of photographs inside SCP-618 is currently unknown. However, trend analysis of the photographs marked dates indicate that at least several years worth of pictures are contained within the anomaly. An average of 50 to 100 photos were taken every day spanning the entirety of Leclerc's stay up until their disappearance. No photos have been dated beyond this point, suggesting that the photographs have ceased to manifest. An inquiry into the disappearance of Anna Leclerc is currently ongoing. Addendum 1. Recovered Photographs. Abridged. Photograph. Image number 618-00617. 04-13. Description: Leclerc is seated at her kitchen table, eating soup. The preceding sequence of photographs show her retrieving a Tupperware container from her fridge, transferring its contents into a bowl, then heating it in the microwave. The photograph is a high-angle shot, taken from behind the kitchen ceiling. The hanging light fixture terminates in front of the photographer's point of view, where the plane of the ceiling would normally lie. Photograph. Image number 618-05572-06-22-2019 Description Leclerc is sleeping in her bed. The lights in the bedroom are turned off. The photograph was captured at eye level and from within Leclerc's bedroom closet. Of note is that the closet's contents are completely opaque when viewed from outside the apartment's walls. 
Photograph. Image number 618-08651. 09-10-29-2019. Description. Leclerc is washing herself behind a glass shower door, covered in condensation. The angle and position of the photograph's point of view indicates that it was captured directly inside the bathroom. Leclerc appears to be unaware of this. Photograph. Image number 618-10455. 11, 30, 2019. Description. Leclerc is lifting up the blinds of a window and looking outside. The photograph is a close-up shot of Leclerc from behind. Photograph. Image number 618-11177. 1208. 2019. Description. The interior of the oven. Context is currently unknown. No photographs have manifested beyond this date. Addendum 2. Subsequent investigations. An investigation was conducted at Anna Leclerc's place of previous employment, a paparazzi agency based in Vancouver. The company's records indicated that most of Leclerc's photographs were regularly met with dissatisfaction and rejected from publication. Despite multiple outbound emails threatening the termination of Leclerc's employment, internal memos strongly recommended for her to be retained, citing her value as a company asset. A full inspection and inventory of the agency's office led to the discovery of a hidden compartment behind a wall. Contained within the compartment were several leather binders covered in thick webbing. Each binder held hundreds of photographs, similar to the ones found in SCP-618 in terms of both content and subject matter. Most notably, each binder contained a collection of photographs depicting a different person. A re-evaluation of SCP-618's effects is currently pending approval, following a comprehensive survey of missing persons cases in British Columbia. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-617, Pet Rocks, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.